Hello YouTube and welcome to 60 seconds re-atomized. So in this game we will be facing a nuclear disaster. We will begin in our home, we will hear a, an alarm and we'll have 60 seconds to pick up as much stuff to bring in our family members into the family shelter. Once the 60 seconds are over, we have to be very close to the shelter and just jump inside of it. And once we are in the shelter, we have to make decisions to survive. We will decide who is going to eat, who is going to drink water, who is going to go out on missions and this game will just show very different events like there's people knocking at the door there's uh, I don't know rats or something inside the shelter if you bring the radio you could listen to messages from the military and you have to make decisions on when and how you should go outside to let the military know that you're there so that they can rescue you your family members can get sick and eventually die and many many things can happen so let's see how far we can get today so let's stop talking and let's just play the game alrighty so let's hit new game and uh, I already played the tutorial I'll actually play the match just to to see a little bit of the game so we will be playing a stat which is a feather and let's go with the Batman difficulty, which is good to be like medium, I guess. And let's just get in our first one. All right, so you can hear the click and we can have a look at where our things are. And um, I'm gonna start here. I, I want this flashlight. Just take that, pick up, the, pick that up. And when I get little Timmy here, and now we gotta go to the shelter, which is right here and just drop them off. Come here, darling. I'm gonna pick some food, which we will need for sure. And on my way here, I'm looking for mom. Mom, I see mom here. Okay. Hey, mom. I'm gonna take the medikit. I'm full. Okay, let's take some water. I got 30 seconds. Okay, okay. Let's bring a health kit. Oh, this is some insecticide, I think. Okay, I think I still got a few minutes, oh, seconds, just here. And where's the radio? Oh, there's no radio? Fuck, well, bring this. Let's get out of here. Come on, I can make it, I can make it, I can make it, I can make it. Okay, yes. Oh man, I couldn't get the radio. Radio is very useful to know when the military will come to rescue you. At least I got every family member decent amount of food and uh, in case they get sick we can heal them okay the flashlight i'm going to try to keep this as it is i don't want them breaking items so day one all of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast that was a close one as long as we're all together we can make it work down here we remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you well it's the only thing you can eat down here we vaguely remember stashing some things in the shelter because there was no room for them upstairs. Turns out, being messy can really work in your favor. So we got a harmonica. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans and we'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. There are just barely enough water for everyone. We will still need to ration it strictly. This is the best stock shelter we've ever seen. We've never seen another one, but we're sure this is a good one. This is a good amount of supplies. So, uh, everyone at the everyone begins well without any thirst or any hunger. So I'm gonna say no one eats for today. And it says, oh dear, we just remember we plan on taking a trip south in two months. If it's still there, we are going, right? No, <laughs> we're pretty sure they don't bomb more places. Sure. Okay, so first day no one's gonna eat and no one's gone out, of course. Day two, let's just leave all those questions be for now. There isn't much going on with Ted, no trouble, nothing new. Mary Jane is feeling safe, who went in this coffin-sized shelter? Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood today. We hope it will stay this way. Like the good scout he is, Timmy is making the best out of this situation. He seems... he even seems cheerful. So, they are all fine. I won't be giving them any food for now. So, everyone is, like, all right to go into a mission. Um, 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 I'll say I'm going to send Ted tomorrow, right? 
and they say we found some weird mushrooms growing one on one of the walls food shortage is not laughing matter so maybe it will be a good idea to grab a mushroom bite or two what's the worst thing that can happen nope you won't eat any radioactive radioactive mushrooms so we may be hungry but there are just some things we will never eat wall fungus is one of them all Ted wishes for are a few drops of water. Getting something to drink from Mary Jane sounds like the right idea. There has to be some water left. Time. Okay, they basically want... Oh, everyone wants water. So I'm gonna give them water. But you see, that was a bottle. And now Ted is going into an expedition. I'm going to give him the mask. Okay, you can do this. Hopefully he will bring like a radio or a map. That'll be good. So he'll be out for a few days. Okay, Ted left for, for the surface. We hope he'll be back. Uh -huh. We lost the equipment and they're no longer thirsty. And uh, they're not even hungry. So let's go. What will... What we will give to be what we will give to be able to enjoy the sunshine again. We can't say there's a lot of light underground, but we don't expect it to get better down here. Yeah. They are beginning to draw in the walls on the walls, sorry, and they can get crazy very fast. Do we have to take care of ourselves or will someone come to our rescue? Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today, I know. Trouble there to cross her path. Okay, okay. They seem to be doing okay. And they're not even hungry yet, so fine. Let's do something today, something fun. If we don't, someone might snap and that's the last thing we want. Yeah, let's let just play sh checkers. and A game of checkers, a cup of coffee and a newspaper is all a 1950s man needs. There's no coffee down here and the paper boy probably got blown up. Jay, checkers. Can we spare some water, Mary Jane? Okay. So they're still thirsty. They're not even a little bit hungry, but they're thirsty. And says the team is not doing great. It would be good to talk him and cheer him up. Yes, please. Come on, Timmy. I need you to be focused. Even a water or two might be enough. Okay. Timmy seems to be better now. Okay, now they are hungry. So yeah, it's time to eat. Come on. You can eat now. It's very difficult to prepare for un unforeseen consequences when you don't see them coming. Well... They are unforeseen by definition, so that doesn't make a lot of sense. We can't say we were prepared for what happened. No, what happened? Oh, okay, sorry, I'm such a dumb mess. We're talking about the nuclear thing. Okay, memories or not, we need to keep our heads clear and get the grip of reality ahead of us. Okay, they're no longer hungry and no thirst, so we're fine. You see, I didn't bring the radio, damn man. It's high time we stopped wondering about what's going on and started asking questions, or at least listened to some reasonable answers. So how about turn, turning to a radio station and learning? Yeah, I forgot it. I mean, I didn't even see where it was, so... Okay, Ted is back. Please tell me you didn't break the mask. Okay, he didn't... Oh, he brought a radio. And he looks like shit. Okay, thank you, Ted. So, they say ignorance is bliss. Another day without any clue what's going on. What's going on might not necessarily kill us. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. And he brought the mask. When a man is desperate enough, any place is good to look through to get food and water. Our expedition was coming home with nothing to show for all the searching. But then they stumbled across full trash cans in our neighborhood. One man's trash is another man's treasure. He, br he even brought food, man. Ten, it's, Ted is a goat. One of her pre-blast neighbors threw out a few own open cans of soup. Ha! The joke's on him. If he's in his shelter right now, he's probably full of regrets. With a lawn like that, who wouldn't be? One of the bins had a nice working radio inside. The owner probably bought a new radio and got rid of the old one. We should buy a new one too when all of this is over. I think there won't be any stores. Okay, now... Everyone has to drink sometimes, including Mary Jane. If there's some water left, the lotus will not last long without water. Okay. So yeah, let's let's all eat, please. I need to I need you healthy. I don't want you dying. Are you thirsty? No, you're just tired, okay. And um I say no, don't go. But please, okay. Use the radio. 
If there's anyone who can rescue us from this hellish situation, it's our government. Which is actually the way you win. Or at least one of the ways I know you can win. You can badmouth them all you want, but that probably means you're either a, a naysayer or a commie. <laughs> we are good citizens. We've been paying our taxes regularly, so we're sure Uncle Sam is coming to get us. Well, except that one time when we... Never mind. <laughs> the government people are coming, and we should keep our eyes and uh, our ears and eyes open for any sign from them. Okay. Please don't break the freaking radio. Thank you. We knew it. The government has not fallen, and they are coming to save us. They didn't give exact dates in the in the radio transmission, but we are sure they won't keep us waiting long. They said they will be in touch in a couple of days and told us to await further instructions. Okay, and they are super hungry. Um, 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 um Dolores could go. I mean, let's say yes. Okay, we could have sworn that the huge bottle of water was in there earlier, and the there goes another one. Oh, damn. We're getting flooded. Let's grab some of our supplies before they start floating. G grab the radio, please. Don't let the radio be destroyed. Please, 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 please. We need that radio. Okay, the radio was rescued first before any of that filthy liquid got into its case. It wasn't long before most of the water disappeared, but the damage it had done... What's enough to upset us? Cleaning and fix this, fixing this mess will take us days. And what's that smell? Okay, there. Okay. The Lord is calmed. Okay, now Ted is very tired and he's super hungry. So yeah, you should keep eating. Okay, Dolores. You will take the mask. And please. Please. Don't break it, Dolores. Please. I, I know you can do it. Just don't break it, please. Dolores is on her way to the surface, okay? He's tired. She's thirsty. My guy is thirsty as well. There isn't a lot of space on here and we can smell everything. When one, when one of the wall bricks got loose today and revealed a hole, we felt pretty sick. It's the smell coming from the hole. It's terrible. Should we investigate and remove the source of this stench? Yes. I think it could get them sick if they keep smelling that. There's someone knocking at the door. They broke the fucking radio. My gosh. How? We approached the hole cautiously, cautiously and picked inside. What happened next ga nearly gave us a heart attack. Some crazy rodent, a reptile or whatever this crazy mad creature was, leapt out and started jumping all over the damn shelter. It was everywhere. We couldn't catch it. Before we could do anything, it pushed our radio off the table and went back into the hole it crawled from. We never saw it again. Ted is okay. Shit, so... We will run out of water and we... The radio is broken, so... During our la latest expedition, we ran into smelly man in turn-up clothes. We recognized him as an old bum named Jim. He used to roam the streets of our town before the bomb fell. Now he roams the wastelands and it looks like he followed us home. Now he's banging on our door asking if we want to buy a rock. Well, do we? No. You really need to be careful with door-to-door -door salesmen. Way too often they try to sell you junk like that. We like to think we make informed and reasonable purchases like this apron with the American flag we got just before the blast. It was a real bargain. The old man didn't sell our aprons, so obviously we told him to go away, okay? Timmy might not look like it, but he's a strong young boy. He's doing just fine. So Timmy will be going next into an expedition, okay? The spiders seem to be operating under the assumption that they have all the same rights to this shelter as we do. They are everywhere and don't seem very scared of us. It's time we change that. We don't want any more spiders. Yeah, kill them, please. Cell phone? We don't have a cell phone, do we? Okay, we got food. When it's us or them, they, there shouldn't be any reservations when it comes to choosing your arsenal. We knew those spiders stood no chance against well aim bug killing spray. So we used it. When it was over, the few remaining spiders fled. We started cleaning up and claimed an expected price, a soup can that we didn't notice before. It was well hidden in the shadows and under a few layers of dead spiders. Ted is hungry, can we spare some water? Okay. Man, I can 
give you wa uh, food but water not really there's one bottle only ring ring there's there we are thinking we will never hear a telephone signal again when suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere in outside we figured out we figured it's the phone brought across the street should someone go to answer it yes timmy go answer it come on timmy don't die please okay he's alive cool we answered the phone we could when we answered the phone we could clear, clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller they introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of hill valley we had started exchanging information when the call was cut short something must have gone wrong on their side we hope they will get back to us okay okay so man this guy's thirsty and i'm running out of water our supplies are scarce and our morale is low you can almost smell the desperation in the shelter we're pretty sure there's a small group of survivors nearby mostly all folks from the retirement home it should be <clears throat> it shouldn't be hard to borrow some of their supplies they're old anyway and we ah whatever yeah let's do that we're going to steal from old people not proud of it but okay yeah we killed that's the mark but they did we they didn't find any water four cans of soup shit we're now richer in some supplies but for some reason we don't feel very good about it let's just never mention this whole thing again okay so yeah they killed one thing you don't expect is a band of people all dressed in green showing up at your doorstep and claiming that they take from rich and give to the poor that's exactly what happened to us should we let loose those clowns they may provide quality entertainment uh no don't okay dolores is back and she okay she she broke the mask but she brought food and an axe we didn't answer those peculiar calls and kept the door locked until the noise outside faded away. We're not exactly sure we went okay. She found two bottles of water. And she found an axe. She broke the, the, the mask, but that's fine. And Ted is fine. Okay, so Dolores... Yeah, Dolores must be super tired. And yeah, I'm going to send Jimmy. Jimmy's going next. Oh my god. This guy will get us this woman sorry will get us water i'm not going to exchange the checkers i'm going to give her the bullets like the ammunition i think we need water we're kind of low in water on low in water so this guy's going crazy look at that face we exchanged goods with the trader and she went her way before she left she insisted that we should listen to radio broadcasts yeah if it wasn't broken okay what the f who who draw that so Ted is okay. Ted is just thirsty. She's both thirsty and she's hungry, and he's hungry. Okay, Jimmy, this is it. I have not. Oh yeah, I'm going to give you the axe. Okay, don't break it, dude. Good luck. So far, they are not sick. That's good, but they look very. She looks super tired, of course. Okay, so Jimmy is gone. And he's hungry and she's hungry and are you hungry now you're fine okay ever since we jumped into our fallen shelter we've been wondering about the other door in the shelter should we even please don't break the flashlight okay please please don't break the flashlight please thank you oh you found a map awesome okay but it was very fortunate we had that flashlight if it wasn't for that we would have missed a pile of old maps collecting dust in the corner they were mostly boring national parks okay that's awesome yesterday during charades we learned that mary jane doesn't know how to spell anti-establishmentarism it has left dolores disappointed she insists on home or other school shelters curing mary jane okay yeah why not also i don't know how to spell that word it's the first time i ever see it oh man she looks bad what happened to her dolores does not mess around with what okay we got a mask what started out as a spelling exercise was quickly found its way to a math revision followed with a, by a shorts 
a short physics curse and ending on tinkering with all random objects in the shelter. Mary Jane looks exhausted, but we can't deny that state of shelter has improved today. So, Mary Jane repaired the, the mask. Okay, I don't want to sound like I'm not grateful, but she could have repaired the, the radio. And she's super tired now. Okay, open in the name of freedom came a shout from out from outside our door. We weren't sure who claimed to be representing freedom. No, I'm fine. No freedom here. Thank you. That sound, that's a radio, man. That we broke. We stayed silent until the group on the other side of the door went away. They didn't show up afterwards. Okay. Okay. So they are fine. She's hungry. And she is hungry as well. Okay, we've discussed everything, whatever, yeah. Without a radio, we can't know when the government will save us. And Timmy's back. Please, Timmy, tell me you brought a radio. No, and you broke the freaking axe. But you brought water, so... Alright, Timmy. There's nothing here. Maybe if we try really hard, we can hear the neighbors in their shelter. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. When our expedition noticed planes in the sky, we were afraid more bombs will fall. Instead, supply crates began to rain down. We made sure we got to one of the, of the drops before the other survivors could loot it. A food drop? That's what we needed. What did they drop this time? Bread, cheese, meat, chocolate? No, tomato soups. That's what you're gonna get. So plus two and then someone forgot to fill the water crate with something to soften the fall as a result most of the bottles were shattered luckily a few of them survived okay our supplies did not include a working radio yeah oh so you got it okay we can actually win this and yeah you Lost the axe, but whatever. Okay, what's this? The vehicle down the street looked like someone work in progress. We observed it from afar. Who could the owner be? We kept our distance for the time being, but we may want to take a closer look in the future. The school potential, okay. Okay, so. Everyone, eat, please. Have some water. If you're thirsty, have water. Okay, do you want. No, I'm not sending anyone out. Something's missing. Let's see. Fan hum check. Strange noises in our pipes check. Hellish jets yells outside check. Oh, Dolores hasn't spoken for a while now. That's good. Oh, Dolores hasn't spoken for a while now. That's it. It's really strange. Talking to her will be a good idea. Yes, please. I don't want her going crazy. Okay, so talking to the Dol Dolores help resolve some of her issues and doubts. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, they want food and such. Let's give them. But they won't. No one's going out. Uh, we have plenty of distant relatives, but none of them mean, mean as much to us as Auntie Ada. She lives in the country, so there's a good chance she's still configuring her cow counting machine and not worrying about nukes raining down on her house. Too bad we don't have a photo of her, do we? We put some photos into books. Well, no, I don't have the book, so... Sorry. No one is going out. Okay, some door-to-door -door salesman found his way to our shelter. We remember him from before the apocalypse. He came over with a bunch of leaf leaflets and tried to convince us to join something called Astro Citizen, but we refused. Now he just wants supplies and he says he will reveal some stage secrets. Uh, I'm gonna give her, him a can of soup. I have- we have plenty for now, so we can share a bit. Oh, Jimmy. Please don't go nuts. Okay, we are generous, so we shared our supplies with him. He tried to make us believe that America has a working space station in orbit, or rather had, since according to that guy, it exploded when the bombs dropped. How convenient. A working space station? What a joker. He was probably so hungry and dehydrated, his brain started playing tricks on him. Okay, so nothing important, really. Someone is at the door. We're a bit scared, but maybe it's a friendly face of an American soldier. No, don't open. We have to wait for two knocks, I think. That was not the tutorial. I don't know if that happens to, like, the rest of the, mission, of the playthrough. The banging stopped after a while, and whoever was behind the door left. We have no idea who it was. Will we ever find out? Maybe. 
Okay, so let's see. You are thirsty and hungry. You are thirsty and hungry. You are hungry and you are thirsty. I'm running out of water. We took some time examining our map and found it had some abnormal symbols scribbled scribble in a few places. It appeared as if someone had hidden something in the area and provided directions. Uh, yeah, we will send... Man, everyone is like... No, we shouldn't send... I mean... They are with fatigue. I will send Jimmy again. Like, Timmy, sorry. I think I should send Timmy. Please don't die, Timmy. Please don't die. Okay, he's back. He's not dead. Okay, we got two cans of food. Nice. The map directions weren't too hard to follow. We found our way to one of the neighbor's backyard and dug under one of the trees. We discovered two food cans. Nice. They are very tired. This is terrible. We can't sleep. We've been having problems with sleeping since we got down here. But now it's worse than ever. If we don't deal with this problem, we won't be able to cope with any other challenges that await us outside. But yes, use the box. I don't want anyone falling sick. That's insta that basically. But we are out of a medikit. We don't have a medikit anymore. Our first aid kit was well stocked with a variety of medical supplies, including a pack of sleeping pills. We never thought we could use them, but in these conditions, it's the right thing to do. Also, it was a nice change from our usual diet of tomato soup. We're all rested now and can enjoy our time in the shelter, or can we? You have to try. A sleazy looking trader carrying an equal scruffy bag on his shoulder paid us a visit. He offered us, us a simple one-time deal. For just one can of soup, he we get the bag and all of its contents. Let's do it, please. Give me one thing good. A cat? We gotta have a cat. As soon as the door closed behind the trader, the back started to violently, violently shake, emitting screeching, hellish sounds. Terrified, we backed up against the walls. When the beast finally escaped, it turned out to be just an angry house cat. The feline gave us a menacing look and promptly sat down in the corner to clean itself. The caller says Sharikov. Is that its name? So yeah, we got a cat. I hope that makes them like feel better having, you know, company. Um, but, 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 but let's see. We're gonna set Ted again. Let's let's do another mission. What's that? Did the radio static just stop for a moment? Okay, please tell me. The air force, the military are closed. Nothing, nothing, and nothing. We could hear nothing but the annoying static. Well, so, my boy, we're gonna take the mask. Please don't die. Please don't die. Okay, Ted left, and, um... I'm, res I'm, I'm very low on water. What in the hell are those sounds? Are they coming from the goddamn walls? They're driving me us crazy. It's something crawling in the air vents. Relax, take a deep breath. We should probably calm down before we start tearing them down maybe try relaxing for a bit yeah play some checkers having some fun made us forget about what was it again they're going crazy yeah out of water you know, yeah that are dire circumstances we found ourselves these are dire sim circumstances we find we found ourselves in supplies are running low and we don't and if we don't take care of ourselves, nothing else will. We know for a fact that one of our neighbors had a shelter with a broken trap door and there might be some supply inside. Of course, this would change the neighbor and her kids managed to get in time, but we could really use whatever they have. Why not? Okay, you didn't find anything. Oh, you got some cards. Well, we went, got, we went, got what we needed and came back. We're sure that group will just just fine. Most probably, yeah, absolutely. Well, you got a set of cards, which doesn't really help that much, but well. Sharikov is still a fresh addition to our little family, we, so we need to keep an eye on it. And believe it or not, just today we noticed something else on his collar. It seems to have to be a metal plate with an address on it. And it's not far. Shall we take a quick trip? Yeah. You hear the radio. What happened to her? Well, she's like, they're all like green and stuff. Uh, orange, sorry. 
Before we reached the end of our street, we were stopped by two men wearing dark coats and stylish hats. They rushed towards the cat to pick him up, saying they've been looking for him for a while now. Supposedly, Sharikov belongs to an old lady who's rather fond of it and misses the little guy dearly. We shocked and went back to our shelter. The good cat didn't seem to care, so why should we? Good thing we didn't get too attached to it the last few days. Okay. So they are very... What's this? Okay, the Lotus is in a good mood. They are very thirsty. Well, Mary Jane is thirsty. Uh, Mary Jane has been awful silent today. This is very unlike her. Should we try talking to her? Yes, please. Ted is not back yet from the wasteland. Let's see. Nothing solves problems better than a honest conversation over a hot beverage. We don't have the latter, but talking alone seems to do the trick. Okay, they are getting thirsty, and I can't give them water, so... Enough of this plain, tasteless water. The Lotus is really craving up a cup of coffee. Real, true, Amer true blue American coffee. That kind that you can drink five cups and still feel sleepy. But we are going to find... But where are we going to find that in this wasteland? Well, the Lord's favorite dinner is, um, used to be a few blocks away. Diner, sorry. Maybe someone should go on a coffee room. The Lord's should go if it's her favorites, right? Ted is back. Hey, Ted, you didn't find any water. Oh my gosh. Okay, he didn't break that thing. Our volunteer came back empty-handed. Apparently, the dinner is just a sad hole in the ground with some seats lying around while I lie down, okay? Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. We used to go to the waterfront before all this happened. It was a great place to enjoy time with our family and watch ships, boats, and sailors. We were really excited to find one of our yachts a few blocks away from our house. We found it in a bit mysterious that is now moored in the middle of the crossroads, but there are plenty of reasonable explanations for that. Okay, so you got soup. And seems like we are being followed, so... Oh my god, Jimmy. I don't have water, boy. There's just no water. Mary Jane, you'll have to go. During our last expedition, we finally approached that nearby vehicle. It was a tank, missing wheels and a few other crucial components. The outside was rusty and a little burned up. If we fall to ever drive away from here, we shall scavenge for something to reinforce it. Anything? Okay, let's uh, use the the mask. The freaking cat came back and you broke the fucking mask. The gas mask provided useful while exploring a very stinky warehouse nearby. We found some sheet metal next to some cartons, cartons filled with expired milk and rotten eggs. The sheets were installed as armor on our post-apocalyptic vehicle. Unfortunately, the mask filter was totally used up. To our surprise, we found Sharikov back in our shelter this morning. We're not exactly sure why or how it came back. It's just, it is our good care if it, it appreciates our kind hearts, optimism, or just our stuck pile of soup cans. Only time will tell. Oh my god. I don't have any water. And they are just... Okay. We're, we've we been preparing for this expedition since yesterday and feel ready. Okay. Come on. Uh, well, you broke the damn... Get the map, please. Go find something good, Mary Jane. Please. 40 days. And Jimmy will... They died. That like that, they die because I couldn't give them any water. Okay, Mary Jane went outside. Lack of water, yeah. Team insane. He opened the shelter door and ran away without looking back. Okay, Mary Jane, the uh, Dolores just died. My God, you're gonna die as well. Crossing, curiously, almost killed. Curiosity almost killed the cat. Sharika found a tiny wire sticking from sticking out from the ceiling and pulled it out. Plaster and debris fell on our table, top off with a big meowing furball. What's this thing anyway? Nobody remembers it being there before. The cat might get angry, so we take away if we take away the wire. So maybe it's best to leave it or shall we examine the wire? Yes. Someone's knocking, please sell me water or something. We grabbed the cable and followed it to a rustly old track park in our neighbor's still driveway. 
driveway, driveway. Upon opening the door, we were confronted with two men wearing huge headphones who looked extremely surprised to us. They wiretaped us our shelter when we were asleep and they were listening to everything we said. We gave them hell and marched back to our bunker. Ted looks like he's got a foot in a grave. The agents? Okay. Uh, well, let's talk to them. Maybe, can we get water, please? The end? What's this? Wait, what? They briefly waved some sort of ID cards in front of our faces and told us they're on a top secret government mission. The wiretap wasn't to spy on us, but rather on the cat. It's expected to, of being a Soviet agent. They're willing to let us into their super top secret government safe house if we help them with some of their top secret missions. They assured us they'd contact us again with more details. Um, Mary Jane was supposed to be back in a few days. It's been too long. We fear something bad has, might has happened to her. Everyone died. No. I perished after only 42 days, so, so... Okay, I wanna try again. And let's see if I can actually... Take the... The radio with me. This time, where's the freaking radio? There's a radio, okay, let's pick the radio. Come on. Come here, Timmy. This is actually very useful when we go into missions. We can be bring more objects with them, more items. Okay, we got the mask, which is super useful. I'm going to pick up. I see the checkers, the map, and that's water. Come on. Pick all all of this. All the the. Okay, wait. wait. No. Okay, bring. Shit, I need, I need the. No, whatever. I brought very little amounts of water, man. It's not going to be enough. Okay, it's not that bad, and we got good items now. Please, let's use them wisely. Okay, and we got cards plus the Boy Scouts book. No one eats. So we stumbled upon a weird signal when changing radio frequencies. We're pretty sure that the. That behind layers of terrible, terrible static and screams, we could hear a voice, okay? A foreign language, the Soviets. Uh, yes, I mean, they will go crazy because they will listen to the Soviets. We were relieved at first when we figured out it wasn't Soviets we heard. Turned out it was the Canadians, which isn't that much of a header. Either way, they're foreigners and we couldn't understand what they were saying on a word. But they were Canadians. Wait, well, they could be speaking French. Um... Then outside is still super radioactive, so no. Uh, yeah, use the radio. Go ahead, please. Just don't freaking break it. You fucking broke it. My God, you're so annoying. Well, that thing that didn't go so well, and we broke the damn thing. Technology, shit, man. You broke the freaking radio. Okay, contamination is high, but I'm going to give them the mask. Okay, our hideout was approached by a man who. We didn't know, and he claimed he claimed he used to be an accountant, but now he survives as a trader and a glam gambler. He offered us a card game for the bed of two water bottles. Please, win the water. Otherwise, we're super dead. Oh, we lost. You suck. Okay, Ted. You're gonna get the mask. You're going to get the map, and you're going to get the boys... The boy scout thing, okay? Please, find something good. Find an another radio, please. You see? Now we can't do anything because they broke the fucking radio because they were just tinkering with it. Damn it. When we opened the bunker door this morning to let in some fresh radioactive air, we discovered a small suitcase on our doors. There was not note and there was no note on it and the neighborhood seemed plain seemed empty. So yeah, take a look at it. Please don't tell me it's a bomb. I got a gift. Okay. And what was the gift? Ah, we got the lock. We were hoping it would be a bouquet of beautiful flowers or maybe a box of fine Belgian chocolates, but apparently we can't have it all. We, we we will put these items to good use anyway. I don't know why... I don't know what the the key and the lock are good for. Maybe to avoid people from breaking in, but... 
It's really weird when you get the feeling that something is watching you. So, okay, I don't have anything, so I'm sorry. So, as we were running around looking for something to smash the fury rod in with it, it just disappeared. So, we lost a can of... It destroyed a can of food, man. Which, okay, but... A group of people dressed in green pajamas knocking on our hatch is not something that we, had, we anticipated. Yet, this is exactly what happened. Furthermore, they insisted that they are merry men and wish to think... We're pretty poor, so maybe we could make some new friends? Oh, they're, wanna, they're going to steal from us. No, bye. We didn't answer those peculiar calls and kept that door locked until the noises. We shouldn't trust anyone. And... What are these very scars? Oh, great. And now they can't sleep, so they will go crazy because they will have, like, they will be tired and fatigated. They will have fatigue, and yeah, look at them. Bravely ignoring our symptoms, we tried to get at least one hour or two of sleep, yeah. A few more hours of coughing, and we'll get used to it. Our ventilation fans are halted, and no fresh air seems to be circulating. No, ignore it. I know that if you use the, the, the light, something bad will happen. So this guy broke the mask, broke the map, broke the suitcase. Dude, you broke everything. That brought like water and food, an axe. He destroyed the suitcase, the mask, the map, and the, sco the, sc the scout handbook. Um, Dolores is fine, so she'll be going next. We don't have a radio, so they're totally hungry and thirsty. What the hell? Dolores, you will bring with yourself. Okay, you will bring the axe. I'm gonna give you the axe, so please. Please bring me a radio, Dolores. Please. We were about to go to sleep and we heard someone knocking at the let's check. I always say I never open to strangers, but please don't kill my my, my guys. Who was it? Did they stole from us? Or am I crazy? No. Someone started shooting on us. What the hell? Oh no, Timmy is injured, man. This is a GG. Open in the middle. Okay, now fuck you, freedom. Bye. The Lotus is back, and she found a radio. The Lotus and you. Oh man, the Lotus found so much stuff. You're the goat, the Lotus. Nice, and she brought a shotgun. Nice, and the radio. Dolores is a goat. Now we just need to find a way to heal Jimmy. We shall send t uh, Ted. Yes, please. Use the radio. Please, don't break it and tell me someone will come to save us. We made contact. The military is out there and they're coming for us. All we need to do is now wait patiently. The soldier with the boring voice was very specific about this. Help is on the way. We just need to wait for further instructions and keep our radio working in order. Okay. Don't touch the fucking radio. Easy. So, boy, you're going to out and please take the gun with you. I trust you, please. Oh, this is a great reference to Fallout 1 or 2, I think. A blue man in a... A, a man in a blue jumpsuit who asked us to trade him a water ship chip. Uh, that's what you had to get in Fallout 1 or 2, I don't remember. Just for the fun of it. How much water do I have? I have none. Uh, I just want to know, please. Is this going to be a scam? The visitor wasn't very happy that we didn't have a water chip or that. We didn't know. Okay. I just gave water away for free. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm running very low on water. Like, uh, Jimmy, Jimmy is in agony because I don't have anything to, to heal him. Jimmy will die here. Like, I don't have anything to kill him let's send jimmy as he's uh, i mean G let's send jimmy if he's gonna die then whatever he's almost dead anyway oh he's alive okay the meeting was organized by two by twin siblings a brother and a sister who took up it upon themselves to scout the remains of the city uh for uh -huh, they seem honest about their intentions we were more than happy to meet them again they said they know where to find us and they're going to contact okay and yeah jimmy is going to die when emptying our bucket in front of the shelter, we discovered a hastily drawn map in one of the ruins. Someone drew a route and marked the spot. Okay, Dolores, please go find something good or Jimmy's dead. Ted is back. Jimmy, please be sitting down there. Fuck. And he brought... Okay. 
so we lost Jimmy when this guy brought the the health kit back. Ah, and he, he even got the map. Water, food, but yeah, Jimmy's... Jimmy's gone. So we lost Jimmy. By a, we were short by a day, like almost there, but... Sorry. Okay, Dolores, you will go and please take the gun. Or take the map. Oh, sorry. Take the map. Go find something good, please. That's the radio. Okay, the military is transmitting again. They said that their first step is to locate our any remaining survivors. A plane will be doing a sweep over our neighborhood this evening, and we are supposed to be out in the open signaling to it with a flashlight. Yes, let's go. Everything was going as planned, but then the flashlight stopped working. We were lucky to get it fixed just in time to hear the distant roar of the plane's engines. We're pretty sure the pilot saw us. Let's see if they get back to us. So this time I'm not going to try to kill people just to get supplies. Oh, please don't break the radio again. Oh man, I'll never learn. Oh, and she's super sick. I broke the radio again. Ah. So there's a mutant that's asking for food. How many we can give him food, I guess? Let's give him, give him food. Man, the radio again. We decided to peek outside for just a minute to see if the store around the corner was still standing. When we were about to step out, we heard a growl in the darkness in a pair of ferocious eyes. Okay, use a rifle, kill that thing, and bring in the. the goods. Okay. You found anything good? Okay, you scared it. You didn't find anything. Okay, Ted, come on. Use the, sh use the gun again. We finally got a look, a good look at this vehicle down the street. The tank, no wheels, but it was reinforced. But where were the weapons? That kind of weapon. Let's get out there with someone equipment. Okay, you can use the map to look for weapons, right? I guess. And you break the fucking map, of course. So they found an antique cannon, antique cannon. And the Lord is hurt, by the way. Okay, okay. They offer health for mask or can let's get both can i get both well i need the i need the radio i'm sorry dolores we need the radio we were happy to open the door today and see some friendly faces the siblings are asking us for us for help yet again they decided that a small tent is not fit to house their group anymore and decided to start building a camp okay it took a few hours but we managed to chop everything they asked us to to and even a bit more every, every, everybody was really grateful and we got a lot of friendly pots on the back helping okay so they're just tired we were sure we'd look through our supplies carefully but Mary Jane okay yep go ahead and plant it maybe you get some tomatoes here goes nothing soil needs water we'll see what happens in a few days time okay yeah the lotus please don't die playing with matches in a, is never a good idea doing so in a tiny underground shelter okay use the radio again please don't don't break it please that was close. We were able to put out the fire and nothing seems to be damaged. Oh, okay. I'm running out of water. Soldiers sent out another radio message requesting all survivors in the area remain patient and await further instructions. Sounds like the extraction isn't coming as soon as it as we hoped it would. Additionally, the officer from the broadcast requested that survivors who are able to bring some gas canister to the nearest bus stop will do it as soon as possible. Okay, yeah. Let's do it. Ted is back. Dolores, don't die. Okay, he broke the shotgun. He didn't bring any food. Any medical equipment. Okay, we got a few good things, but Dolores will die. Like, without medical equipment. There's nothing I can do, Dolores. I'm sorry. Let's send Mary Jane next time. I think Dolores will die. Next. Ah, JJ. Hey, look, the plant is growing. We're trying our best to remain calm. The situation we're in is in, we're in, in the far, okay, yeah. Breathe calmly, one, two, three, that's better, don't panic. What the hell? What's this? Shit, oh, GG. Uh, okay. That was a bad, okay. Whoever designed this fellow shelter was a genius, but we can't really tell if that green stuff... Ripping from the pipe is an, un an included feature. We should probably try doing something about it. Use the mask. Not much we can do, buddy. Yeah, why don't? Why not? Eat them. Let's see what happens. I think he died. No, he didn't. 
Oh, you got so much food now. We got a lot of food now. And now I'm not going to kill anyone. So Mary Jane is back. She didn't bring the the medikit, man. We're so doomed. Okay, Ted, I need you to go and talk to the military. Please don't die. We're, you're you're almost dead, but you're just a bit sick. You'll get better. So we managed to make it to the meeting in time. We tried our best to answer the questions soldiers asked, okay? Okay, yeah, Ted is going to die soon. So Mary Jane will be the last one. Uh, you see, they're not offering anything we really need, so bye. I need the water. The water. So we could use some extra supplies. The last time we went on a supply room, we noticed a damaged tank. Well, let's go, Ted. Don't die. The cat? It's so difficult to get the medic kit. You got ammunition, okay? 56 days. Is that the military going coming to rescue us? Okay, the more we know about what's going on outside. Okay, yeah, please use the radio. Don't break it, just... Don't break it. Just be kind with it. Some friendly soul on the radio was talking about a supply pack she'd lost during a trip through our town. And we mainly realized we must have Okay. So you got some water and some soup. Okay, let's... This is the spite. He's not okay. Okay, Mary Jane is going next. We had the most curious visitor today. One of them was making the sound of a galloping horse, using a pair of rocks and hitting them against each other. While his companion was pretending to raid said horse, they claimed to be on a very important quest to seek some magical coop. A quick look, but don't break it. If you break it or if you steal it, I'm gonna be so angry. Okay, they didn't break it or steal it. Oh, we got this shotgun. Thank you. Okay, Mary Jane. You're going to take... You're going to take the... I'm going to give you the, sh the map. Okay? I don't know what items I need for these guys to survive, but whatever. So, my guy. I, I can't kill you. The siblings visited us again to reveal that their camp is almost finished. People are starting to move in and among them quite a lot of kids. The group strongly believes that these children need to get educated, especially in these circumstances. Okay, yeah. Use the Boy Scout manual. Curiosity almost killed the cat. Shady cops found a tiny wire sticking. Okay, we already know this one. It's going to be the agents outside. Okay, let's see who is out. Knock banging at the door. Oh! The military came to save us. Really? Mary Jane was supposed to be back in a few days. Okay, I always lose Mary Jane when I send her on expedition. Okay, so it took us... 63 days, but we got saved by the military. And we survived. All right, you Well, look at that. As we find more pieces from the tank and during the playthroughs, this is changing. Now it has like some plate armor and like a cannon. And I wonder what happens if you totally find all the pieces. But well, this was 60 seconds re-atomized. What do you think about the game? I think it's so funny just playing over and over. Like memorizing or learning what each event actually does. You know, to get like the best output from everything. Like I think there's some kind of random... Uh, part of the game in which, yeah, the item you use might break or not. And, you know, when you send someone on an expedition, what they might find. But nonetheless, I think some events repeat quite a lot. And you can begin to learn just by playing over and over, realize what's good, what's not. And um, I wonder how many endings they, like there are. I just want to explore maybe the one in which, you know, we confront the agents that are listening to our bunker that are saying that the cat could be a Soviet <laughs> spy. <laughs> that sounds too crazy. But anyways, I hope you like this one. Maybe I'll play some challenges because I see if you go here, you have like challenges and different ones like, um, you see like you have like scouts on or responsible parenting and all of these like bring in some interesting like conditions so maybe I'll, i will explore them in the future but this is going to be it for today i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one bye